Hi, I'm Carol Rose, Executive Director of the ACLU of Massachusetts. The ACLU works to protect your rights and to promote liberty, justice, equality, and democracy here in Massachusetts and across the nation. We work on so many critical issues in so many places that sometimes our adversaries say they can't understand how we're able to pop up whenever and wherever rights are at risk. They don't know our secret. ACLU was there for me after I was arrested for trying to record three cops beating a teenager on the Boston Common. The case we filed and won on Simon's behalf firmly established an important principle that the First Amendment protects the right of all people to record the public actions of the police and other public servants. The ACLU is also in the forefront of the fight whenever women's rights are at risk. When the Bush administration allowed the Catholic bishops to use taxpayer money, but allowed them to withhold vital reproductive health care services such as contraception and abortion, the ACLU of Massachusetts took the government to court and won. Religious liberty doesn't include a right to impose your religious beliefs on others. One place the ACLU won't pop up is in your bedroom, and we make sure the government won't pop up there either. It used to be the case that if the government wanted to spy on you, they'd have to send somebody like this guy back here to follow you around. But 21st century technologies, including surveillance cameras like those all around this park, have made it much easier for corporations and the government to track my behavior and yours. The ACLU has long stood for the idea that your business is none of the government's business. That's why the ACLU is working to ensure that our rights are strengthened rather than compromised by new technologies. When my laptop was seized over my political organizing roles at the U.S. border, the ACLU contacted me almost immediately. Together, we're fighting the U.S. government and working to reassert the rights of every American while crossing international borders. When hundreds of people join together here in Dewey Square to protest income inequality in our society and to show how people can live in a different, better way, the ACLU had our backs. The Occupy movement is about having every person's voice heard, and that's not possible without the First Amendment or without the ACLU. When the ACLU was founded in 1920, the Bill of Rights was just a piece of paper. The U.S. Supreme Court had yet to uphold a single free speech claim. As we've seen in this decade, civil liberties victories never stay won. And we have got to stand up for our constitutional freedoms if we want the Bill of Rights to survive. One person speaking against injustice is an act of courage. A group of people joining together to act against injustice that's a movement. The ACLU has long been a leader in the expansion of the Constitution and the Bill of Rights to people who have been excluded from their protection because we know that if the rights of society's most vulnerable members are denied, everyone's rights are imperiled. The ACLU brings more LGBT cases and advocacy initiatives than any other national organization. Here in our state, the ACLU has worked for decades to help make Massachusetts a national leader in promoting LGBT equality. Struggles over individual rights and liberties won't disappear anytime soon, and neither will the ACLU. We're committed to fight for individual freedom and protect constitutional rights for generations to come. The dream of full equality remains an elusive one. But the ACLU continues to work to bring that dream closer to reality by using the law and public education and advocacy campaigns to advocate for liberty and justice for all people. Protecting the rights of immigrants was one of the founding principles of the ACLU, and it remains a cornerstone of our work today because no human being is illegal. My family came to the United States because it was a beacon of opportunity, hope, and freedom. The immigrant dream is the same as the American dream, a country with equal opportunities and equal rights for all. I work for the ACLU because I want those same things for my daughter, that she grows up without fear of discrimination, without the government tracking her every move, and in a country focused on education, not incarceration, with liberty and justice for all. Con libertad y justicia para todos. The list of civil liberties issues on which the ACLU works is as broad as the Bill of Rights itself. Freedom of speech and petition, association and assembly, freedom of the press, religious liberty, 
ensuring due process and freedom from unreasonable search and seizure, fighting censorship, and advocating for online privacy rights, promoting LGBT equality and protecting women's rights and reproductive freedom, upholding the right to vote, ending the death penalty here in America, and the use of torture and indefinite detention abroad, while ending the war on drugs and decades of over-incarceration. In short, guaranteeing equal justice and equal rights for all. We are needed so often and in so many places because defending the rights of one is protecting the rights of all. And yes, every once in a while we do pop up to ask for your support of the ACLU's work. Contributions from you fund every aspect of the ACLU's work, both here in Massachusetts and nationwide. From your neighborhood to the State House and Capitol Hill, from the lowest courts all the way up to the U.S. Supreme Court. Thank you for supporting the ACLU as generously as you can so that we can be there whenever and wherever rights are at risk. <laughs>